Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's name. Yahweh Shai being the uh, one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Rakakwadash meaning uh, Spirit Holy. Because in the Hebrew, uh, the adjective comes after the, the noun. All right, and double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone who, who taught me this uh, truth. And uh, peace and blessings to the elect Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right. Um, this title is going to be, uh, uh, well, I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to title it yet. But it's going to be about uh, net neutrality and, and how it's not going to work for uh, how these uh, devils want it to work. All right. And. You know, net neutrality repeal goes into effect on April 23rd, all right? And it reads, two, two months from now, net neutrality will be will officially be dead. Today, the Federal Communication Commission's uh, revocation order was published in the Federal Register. The effective date is April 23rd, all right? And this, this was uh, posted uh, <clears throat> about a month ago. All right, because April 23rd is around the corner today. Uh, that doesn't mean the next two months will be quiet. The uh, Attorney General of New York is set to sue the FCC over the repeal of net neutrality, and more states and ad, uh, advocacy groups will follow. Democrats in the Senate have the votes to restore net neutrality, but not the two-thirds majority required to override the president's veto which would surely follow any action on their part right so you know th basically net neutrality is coming into effect pretty soon however it's not it's not gonna uh, <clears throat> work how these devils want it to work right I'm gonna jump to the scriptures <laughs> all right uh, there's Proverbs 26 and 27 Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. All right. So this is like your classic uh, uh, roadrunner scenario. You know, every time the coyote tries to set up a trap uh, for roadrunner, he, he falls in it in himself. Right? There's this one part in uh, Family Guy where Peter Griffin, he like, he like sets a dollar bill down and he ties a rope to the end of a rock and he like pulls it up in the tree and then he hides behind the bush and then he sees the dollar and he runs out to grab it and, it, and the rock falls on, on himself you know it's funny shit like that and that's who Esau is alright you know he's trying to set up this trap but he's it's not going to work to his benefit um, I'm going to get another scripture in Psalms um Psalms 140, 141, 141 and 10, all right, and it reads, Let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I uh, will they'll escape, all right? So, I mean, he's trying to set up a trap for us, and it's not going to work out for him, all right? Because ultimately... This uh, net neutrality repeal is fulfilling a uh, biblical prophecy, prophecy, you know? And the more uh, prophecies get fulfilled, the closer we are to uh, the kingdom, which is ultimately uh, Esau's uh, death, his destruction, his punishment, his trap, all right? This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. Uh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Basham Yahashai. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh Basham Yahashai, and shall not find it. All right? But this, this net neutrality repeal isn't really going to, well, it might slow down the word a bit, but it's not going to totally do away with us uh, <clears throat> going out and prophesying, you know. So what? We can't. We might not have a hundred percent access to the internet, 
you know, we're still going to go out there and prophesy. And, you know, if brothers are, are doing, uh, uh, paying their tithes like they should to their camps, you know, during this time, uh, during the net neutrality repeal, you know, brothers should be able to, um, you know, if we come together, we should be able to, to pay for an account and still upload videos and pay for, the, like, that um, faster internet connection. We might be able to push it even harder on these devils, all right? So, I mean, don't don't look at this uh, net neutrality repeal as, like, um, a chance to slow up. Because, in fact, it's going to make us go harder, all right? And I'm going to get into it, all right? Um, I'm going to get uh, Jeremiah... Jeremiah 20 and 9, right? And it reads, Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in mine heart, as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay, all right? So, I mean, I'm sure brothers have felt this way before. You know, um, you know I felt it when uh, in the world. You know, and when I would go to uh, those Catholic masses, you know, which is like Catholic church, basically, you know, because in the Catholic church never uh, resonated with my spirit, man. I, I'd always get fidgety and wanted and like had ants in my pants, basically, every time the preacher would say some bullshit. And in my theology classes in middle school, and then it wasn't until the truth where I could settle down because I knew why. Once I came into the truth, I knew why uh, uh, I was so antsy is because it was wrong, right? I mean, I still get that way, you know, when I have to uh, participate in all-school mass because I go to a Catholic church, I mean, a, a, so like, yeah, a Catholic school, and we have to participate in that. Um, <laughs> and I still get antsy sometimes. And like every, every false doctrine that this so-called preacher brings out, you know, it makes me want to prophesy, basically. And, you know, brothers get that way, you know, uh, when they're around their family and they keep on talking about Jesus this, Jesus that. It's like a burning fire gets in your uh, spirit. And, you know, you got to let it out. All right? Same thing when uh, the uh, net neutrality, all right? You're going to feel off if you... if. It, you're going to feel off if you're not prophesying in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Because it says, nor speak any more in his name. All right? Now that name is very, very powerful, and that's what makes you go out and prophesy. You got to keep that spirit on you, all right? Um, let's see. I'll get, um, I'll get Acts next. This is Acts, the fifth chapter, start at 17, all right, and it reads, The high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which the sect of the uh, Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, all right, uh, verse 18, and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison, all right, You'll find out why they put him in prison in a second, all right? Put the, but the, uh, uh, what? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they put him in prison because they're prophesying in the name of Yahweh by Shem You know, they're talking about how Yahweh Shai was resurrected by Yahweh, all right? Um, but verse 19, but the angel of Yahweh by Shem by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple of the people all the words of his life. All right. So they are thrown in prison for speaking the name. And then an angel comes in and like, he's like, well, get out of here. Go, go preach some more. You know, we're not done yet. We still got to get this word out. All right. <clears throat> so, I mean, the most high might have it where. Uh, you know, even if you don't have a, uh, uh, you're not set up on the account for the net neutrality repeal, you might still be able to upload videos. You know, Yahweh Shemiah Shah might work, make his works where, you know, videos are still 
going out and still having a, a good quality, better quality. Um, let's see, uh, verse 21, And when they heard that they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught, but the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to the prison to have them uh, brought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly uh, found we shut with all safety and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. So, I mean, the officers were like, yo, I, like, I swear, like, we locked them up. I don't know how the fuck they got out. All right? It was because of Yahweh Shimon Shai. All right? Verse 24. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these things, they doubted of them where unto uh, whereunto this would grow. Verse 25. Um... Uh, uh, then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. And <laughs> so the same thing they got locked up for, all they were doing was, was preaching testimonies. All right. And they got pissed off and locked them up. And then, you know, the angel freed them and said, Go out and preach some more. All right. Uh, you know, I'll. Uh, I'll keep reading uh, verse 26 then went the uh, captain with the officers and brought them without violence for they feared the people lest they should uh, have been stoned alright so now they're scared of shit cause you know they, they had a multitude with them um, cause they, they basically woke up uh, a multitude I think it was uh, I think it was 5,000 of them yo that's deep 5,000 people that's deep alright so they were pretty scared because they, they had a following. You know, they basically had a little uh, army with them. And when they had brought them, <clears throat> they, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring uh, this man's blood upon us. All right? So, yeah, you can make all the rules, the laws you want, try to take away the Internet, try to put us in prison, you know, declare martial law. We're still, this word is not going to go out void, all right? And we're still going to keep preaching, all right? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So he basically was like, fuck your laws, all right? We care about the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Alright? Uh, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Alright? Um, so, I mean, he, go he basically um, goes into another testimony and starts speaking again. <laughs> um, but, I mean, this was prophesied to happen, alright? You know, Yahweh Shai spoke of this. All right, in Matthew uh, 10 uh, and 17, um, and he reads, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Uh, verse 18, And ye shall be uh, brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Uh, verse 19, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye, what ye shall speak. All right? For it is not ye that speak, but the uh, uh, spirit of your Father which speaketh in you, all right? So it's not you, it's not our words that are speaking this, all right? It's a message of you, how about Shemia Shai? You know, it's not my words of uh, wanting the famine of the word to happen. It's not my words of me wanting to get uh, persecuted of uh, in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. It's Him. He wants me to uh, be persecuted. He wants His servants to be persecuted. 
I should say, Lord willing, I am uh, one of those servants. All right. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna jump to Matthew five and ten. All right, and it reads, "Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." All right, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. All right, it's for Yahweh's sake. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know, that's who we're suffering for. That's who we preach this word for. All right. And, and Lord willing, you know, I, I, I have that uh, uh, spirit that gets uncomfortable when I, you know, shut, when I try not to uh, prophesy. You know, like, like like there's a song that I used to sing when I was in the world at church. Uh, Set a fire down in my soul, one that I can't contain, one that I can't control. You know, I want more of you, God. All right, I want more of you, Hashem Yahushai. You know. So I mean, you devils, you mean you can try all you want. The 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 the, the prophets are gonna get woken up. All right, the elect and the one third are gonna be saved. All right. You need to hurry up with this shit, all right? Because cause the righteous men are, are, are pushing hard. You got to push back, Satan. Make a move, all right? With that, I hope this video is uh, edifying and uh, shalom.